Tech Geeks, how's it going? So today I will be making a detailed detail review of AX610 custom ROM. So I will be making this review in 5 sections. They will be notification panel, tiles, settings, fingerprint scanner, and then we will go to the bugs. And I will end this video with booting animations. And I will be making a separate video on gaming performance and a detailed camera review. So let's get started. So basically, I'm going to show, show you what are the home screen features. So I turn left, and you can see the Google search app. And now we are going to go to the notification panel, the Google search, and the home screen features, wallpapers, widgets, and home settings. So basically, you can select different wallpapers from your device, or which are already built in on your phone. Currently, I want the AX wallpaper. And I'm not able to select others because my net is off right now. Okay, basically we are going on the other two options, widgets. So basically, every single app has one widget of it, and you can select any widget as a shortcut on your home screen to make your time less consumed and do any work faster. And if you need it, emergency. Now we'll go to the notification. Home settings good. So basically, there are different home settings. You can add icon. You can display Google app. You can allow the home screen rotation, which will actually allow the home screen to rotate when you turn on the auto rotation. So here we go. I'll show you. And here we go. See, you can turn the auto auto rotation from the home screen settings, and your home screen will also auto rotate. With the sensor itself. Now you can turn it off from the home settings and turn it on from there. See, there are some also other options also in between. For notification loads, there are some settings you can go to if you want to. So these are the settings. Uh, you can turn off the notifications and some dots, blink light, and allow notif notification content which you want. Now we are on to notification panel. And this is the not notification panel. I'm going to show you how to change the tiles in it and explain some features about it. So basically, you just saw the animation it has. Now we are going to change the tiles. I'm going to change the sound tile. Drag anywhere. You want to place it, and it's done. Now, click on the edit. Here we go. Back. Now it's here. So to change it again, go to edit tool. Drag and go down, click on it and drag it back down. So it's now below. Click back on edit and you're done. So that's how we go through that. So basically, it's the dark theme I was using through settings. There are some settings also. You can go to extensions and notification panel, and you can go quick settings and notifications. There are like battery charging lights in it, and now you can go to quick settings general. Add battery slide, slider, vibration, footer, warnings, quick pull down, and smart pull down. So, basically, there are some settings related to the notification panel around, and that's all for it. Now, we are going to go into settings. You can select it from the menu, or, or you can go into settings through swipe down menu from the notification panel. From here, and we go into settings. Good. So now I'm going to explain you the different types. So this is the Wi-Fi network and hotspot all in one. Now we're going to build the devices, apps, and notifications. You can change it from here. Extensions, extensions are the most important thing of the settings part. So these are the customizations, and we're going to set status bar, status bar items, battery style, traffic indicators. You can change it all from here. See, we can mix extensions, everything. Now we go into notification panel, but you already have seen it. So we go into navigation bar, and it's nav navigation bar. So you can allow the three menu from the navigation bar. The recent UI, it's Pi right now. You can get all your lock screen customizations from your UI and shortcuts. The what you want to display on your screen, lock screen, can be set from here. 
now so we go into system extensions so these are general tweaks and buttons so this is normal so we will go this is the button so basically these are the on screen buttons or your menu button and you can change it the way you want to customize it you can do it from your extensions and power buttons so now so i just got the setting to turn my flashlight on by long press on my switch power button so now we go to tap then we go to home button so basically there is tap so this was to open google assistant single tap for home long press for camera so there you go long press and you go into camera a single tap and go back double tap for the screenshot oh sorry it was double tap on the button itself you go into buttons and double tap on the home button here you go basically we don't have a left swipe we do have right swipe right now so i will see if we could actually change it into left swipe in the recent update in the next around 2 months still there volume rocker you can change the controls from here this was the extensions so now we go into battery and you can change the settings there are not much settings around i say actually like a display of what is happening with your battery and you can see it from here so now we go into display you can change the wallpaper font size brightness screen saver you know everything so there are some more customizations you can change the ax rom has some good customizations i got dark ui from here itself dark ui you can change it from your style the font size and everything we can do sound you can change the sound volume ringtones storage everything is here storage how much it occupies how much on what occupies how much space in your phone so this is storage now we go back yes here is you can see it. now we go to accounts we can go into in the display display so you can turn on that this is one of the most important features actually i can see it is most useful so basically here you can see how many apps and how many time actually you have used it you see it has a perfect data of how much have you used your phone in your day daily life basically i used screen time was for google then it was 35 36 for instagram youtube was around hmm 50 less actually especially you can see it from here the sense system things about phone gestures um about phone gestures yes and you can go to developer settings from here system updates it's up to date and you extra so this was the settings we are going to check the fingerprint scanner so and tap so it is fast not the fastest but actually you have to keep your finger keep your thumb or finger on a scanner for around a second we check it actually on a point and find for the price we get so here you go tap and done good it is fast we are going to go into camera as i'm and i'm on google camera as i'm on android pie so we can actually open it for by long press on the home button you go is portrait panorama you can go into video and more more has the other different settings you will enjoy night photosphere slow motion it's photosphere now we go into night mode it is one of the most useful features for google cameras now we go into uh, slow motion and here goes slow motion now we go into settings so basically basically this is the best settings i think you should have on your smartphone if you want to capture raw you should turn it on for photo and video and that you see so basically you can capture a photo i want to capture a photo here i put a mouse and i'm going to put a photo about it and here you go that's a photo 
so basically i will have a detailed camera comparison around in separate videos and here are the samples so this is a mouse now this is a photo taken from my balcony this is my portrait selfie that detection is good this is a photo with that night sight and now a photo with night sight on basically you can see the difference and that's all for this camera now talking about the battery life i'm literally getting around 6 hours of battery time around on a single charge and basically i've been be i've been i have been using this for a month and now i'm getting around 3 hours of battery time basically while playing pubg the phone is heating more like around 43 degrees and the battery goes decreasing around 20 to 25 percent so basically i need to see what's happening with the problem okay, so i am not considering this uh, row for playing pubg so now we are basically going to switch off our phone and let's see what the booting animation is so now our phone is switching on and let's see what the booting animation is by fast forwarding our video so basically there are four dots running around after each other and jumping around and then a google logo appearing after it so that's the end of the video please like it share it subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you will see any mistakes or how could i improve my video thank you for watching and i will see you next time